Hey everyone, Adam Shar here from Brevera Media Company. Today I have another vintage map for you guys. It is a map of Halifax, Nova Scotia that was originally produced in 1879. As you can see, it is a bird's eye perspective map in that we can see changes in landscape, we can see building architecture, we get to see ships in the harbor, we get to see people walking down the streets, we get to see vegetation, we get to see a lot of different three-dimensional aspects of the city of Halifax. So we're going to actually zoom in and kind of explore this city and we're going to see kind of the development and the various buildings that are located uh, throughout. So let's dive right in and check this out. Right away, we uh, if we zoom in, we can obviously see a, a significant point of interest right here. Uh, by just the looks of it, I mean, it just is telling us fort. I looked it up previously. It's the St. George's uh, Fort. Uh, the sit on Citadel Hill, and if we look even closer, we can see the little cannons lined up right on the hill, which I think is cool. And we can see the cannons uh, protruding from the fort sides. Pretty cool, and we see the building architecture right there. Uh, I've investigated some of these buildings. Um, just before I say, if you look at this, how many buildings are labeled in such a close vicinity? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's pretty rare for most most of these bird's eye perspective maps. You don't get that lucky with several buildings labeled in a vicinity. And if you look down at the key, my God, uh, 114 labeled locations. You got to be kidding me. That does not happen. This is this is a rare bird's eye perspective map, and there I've never seen so many locations labeled uh, historically on this. So, but I know I, I looked up this. I can tell you without even looking at the key that this was a boot and shoe factory. And it's kind of interesting how close it is located uh, to, uh, I, I assume, I haven't looked this one up. I'm going to now that I see it. I just found a new number. But um, it's close to the Citadel and the fort, and I'm guessing this is a barracks. This has to be a barracks. This is the first time I found it, so bear with me. It's a government property. It just says north. I can tell you though, that's, yeah, 81 Wellington Barracks. Is 81 around here? Hmm. I don't know. 79, 73 actually looks like a barracks as well. Let's check that out really quickly. Is it 73? Oh, it's a military hospital. I'm guessing that's a barracks. You know, it says north and south. It's a barracks. There's no doubt in my mind. It just looks like a, a military barracks, and it's right next to the Citadel. Uh, no doubt in my mind. But conveniently close to a shoe and boot uh, factory. I mean, yeah, they're supplying uh, these boots and shoes to uniformed soldiers. Very, very cool that I found that on the map. Uh, 20 was an engine house, which I think is kind of peculiar in that the engine house isn't located close to the docks. It was closer to the, the fort and the citadel, which is interesting to me. I would think you'd want the engine house closer uh, to, to uh, ship construction and building, but I, I, I thought that was kind of different. Uh, I looked down at the pier, piers uh, down over here. This 78 was an ordnance yard, so they were actually – you know, shooting off cannons and and uh, uh, utilizing ship ordnance right over here. And it's very close to lower uh, Water Street from this street. So that was kind of interesting. So if you metal detect, I do metal detecting videos. If you do metal detecting, I would check out right around here. My goodness, I'm sure you could find uh, definitely a certain amount of, of a large amount of metals right in there. Uh, I looked over... At this section, this is interesting. Uh, I'll show you. It's kind of close to the water, but what does this look like? You tell, you take a guess and tell me what this looks like, because I, I didn't even have to look this up and I knew it was a cemetery. I mean, you can see the headstones. Uh, you can see the entrance way. It just is telling you. I mean, uh, cemetery. And this is why I love bird's eye perspective maps. They give you that kind of detail. You don't even have to sometimes look it up because you know already what it is. Uh, but we're going to look up 25 right now and just confirm it. St. Paul's Graveyard. Pretty cool. 
And I, I looked up some of these other buildings. I mean, there's so many buildings on this map, so I couldn't look up every single one. There are just so many. Uh, this was a music hall right here at the end of Spring Garden Road. And then I saw this over here to the backside of the graveyard, and I knew it was a government building, uh, but more specifically, it was a drill house. Uh, this was actually a drill house, and uh, you know this they were used this for uh, training soldiers and or officers. And right next door, conveniently, was the commandant's house. So that it's just amazing. I love the detail, and I'm, you know, I I would bet dollars to donuts these buildings uh, are historically still there, and uh, they look accurate. They are they're presented accurately on this bird's eye map. So. And I mean, there's just so many buildings on here. I, I mean, I could spend easily 30 minutes going to, through every single building. This looks like a railroad depot. I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, 85. We're going to look it up. Let's look it up. Intercontinental, uh, yeah, Intercontinental Railway Station. Pretty cool. I mean, even the river boats and the ships, I mean, the freaking names are written on the side. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so detailed you can see horses and people on it. That's this is, looks like a ferry actually. This looks like a ferry. It's her goggle. Interesting. You can see a tugboat. So uh I mean these maps are great. I mean just amazing. This was I looked this side up too. This was a metal foundry right here. That was a metal foundry. I, I looked up 95 and I forgot. I forgot what 95 was. Let me. That was a steam a steam mill. Yep. Interesting. Okay. I looked over here. There was a soap. They labeled a soap manufacturer over here. 109, I believe. By uh. By King's Place, very close to King's Place. I can't read that street. It's completely hidden from the trees. Agor, uh, I'm probably from Abricola Street. I'm guessing that's a B. Uh, let's do 109. Yeah, it was a soap manufacturer. I mean, this map. I mean, like, how how much work did they go into it to providing us all this information? I love these maps. These, ma these maps get me going. They're, they're just very, very beautiful. So uh, we at Pervert Media uh, actually sell this map on a poster print. So if you're looking to decorate a home, office, or study, uh, and you like this map, uh, de definitely check out the link in the description. Uh, go down there, click that link. It'll bring you to our online store with this vintage map. And you can actually customize it in terms of dimensions as well as framing. Uh, definitely leave a comment below if you have any questions about this map or you'd like to see certain aspects of certain streets uh, or certain locations. We'd love to highlight them in future videos and we'd love to get your feedback uh, and or our suggestions uh, for future uh, videos looking at this old map. So definitely subscribe to us because we're going to do more maps on Halifax as well as different uh, aspects of uh, and maps of Nova Scotia. Definitely subscribe to us. We also do maps of the entire United States, uh, different countries throughout the world, old world maps. We cover a lot of different maps as well as history. So definitely subscribe to us. Comment if you have any questions. Like this video. Share this video. And I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.